Hey guys, it's Chris from Chris Lights here, back with you at long last for video number three. In this video, what I want to do is take this staircase here and make it interactive. And by interactive, what I mean is that I want to be able to detect exactly where on the staircase a person is and then have lights follow them up and down the staircase. The problem is uh, I've never been able to figure out how I can accurately and reliably detect where a person is. This has been rummaging around in my brain for a while and I've always come up short. The way I've always imagined doing this is using an ultrasonic sensor like this guy. These are very cheap and widely available and they work basically the same as sonar. They have a speaker which emits ultrasonic sound and that sound bounces off objects in the immediate vicinity and gets returned to the microphone. And the time it takes between emitting the sound and recording it back can be used to determine distance. But in practice, uh, when you use one of these in a confined space like a staircase, it's very chaotic. The, the sound bounces off all kinds of different objects and by the time the result gets back to the microphone, it's very chaotic and useless. So this project has been uh, shelved in my brain for quite some time. But in recent weeks, I've had a bit of an epiphany in this area. I realized that I could probably use a bunch of laser modules, uh, so one laser on each step of the staircase, with an accompanying light sensor on the opposite side of each step of the staircase. And how that would work is that the laser would shine a beam into the light sensor, and when a person steps on a given stair, they will break that beam, the light sensor will no longer be receiving light, and I can detect that with an Arduino. The problem with this approach is that there is a whole lot of soldering involved. For every single task I have to do, I now have to do it 12 times. So this is going to take an awfully long time, but I'm excited to see the results and I'm just gonna cross my fingers that this works. Uh, so I'm gonna stop talking and start soldering. I'll see you again soon. So it's been about four hours now, and these two masses of cable are the results of that work. In my left hand, I have an array of laser modules, and you might be able to see them shining on the wall there. These are wired in parallel, the same as any typical Christmas lights. I'll turn these off. In my right hand, I have an array of light sensors. One thing that I regret doing when soldering these was that I cut the legs of the resistors and the photoresistors very short, which you might have seen in the video. This meant that soldering them all together was a very error-prone process, uh, so if I was doing this again, I would just leave them long and twist them all together. But that's the fun of these projects, you always learn something new. 
Now, one thing I've added to these that wasn't in the original time-lapse video is these black tubes. And what these black tubes do is actually quite important to the project. Uh, I think there's, I could probably list about five reasons to have these tubes. So number one would be to simply protect the components. Number two is to provide a nice way to mount them on the stairs. So I'll just take them over and that way I can be sure that uh, they'll remain aligned. Thirdly, I've hot glued these tubes onto the components which takes pressure off the solder joints when I'm carrying them around. Fourthly, it hides uh, the excess light that's being emitted by the sensor uh, just to make it look a bit better. And the fifth use, and perhaps the most important, is that it prevents any ambient light from hitting the light sensors which would give me false positive readings. Now, <laughs> I've got a bit of a funny story about these tubes. So before I decided on using the tubes, I originally was going to use wooden blocks, like this one. And I made 24 of these wooden blocks, and that took a lot of work. So I had to buy, I went to my local hardware store and bought a length of wood. I cut the wood into 24 equally sized pieces. Then I drilled a hole through the center of each piece of wood. And I cut a channel out of the back so that the cables from the components could uh, run through the channel and these would sit flushly against the side of the stairs. And I spray painted them all black. This took a good, uh, at least three hours of work. And it wasn't until literally about 20 seconds after I finished spray painting the last one that I thought, hey, textures can do this. It'll be better, it'll be lighter, easier to store. So all this work for nothing. Um, so I just used some old textures I had laying around, uh, cut them up and sprayed them black, glued them on and done. So at this point, I've got my lasers and my light sensors all done. Uh, so now I just need to set up the LED strip, uh, plug everything into the Arduino and write some code. So I'll do that now and then we'll get to see the final result. I'm looking forward to it. See you soon. So it's finally finished. As you can see, uh, I'm in need of a sleep and a shave. I've been up basically all night finishing this project, um, but I couldn't be happier and more relieved to be at this point. It's working quite well. Um, as you can see, it's very interactive, uh, but there were plenty of problems along the way, uh, a lot of them residing with the lasers. So I found that once I installed the lasers, they were emitting a big red blob onto the wall, not a focused laser point. And the reason for that was that I was a bit overzealous in my hot glue gunning and the hot glue actually made it inside the laser modules and obscured the laser, so I had to replace some of them. Uh, as part of that, I found out that the laser modules are actually focusable, so if they're slightly uh, a bit blobbish, you can twist the laser around to focus the laser into a point, but because there was glue in there, uh, that wasn't going to help me. But having said that, I think if you make a lot of mistakes in a project, it means that you've learned a lot and it was a worthwhile project and I definitely feel that was the case here. So this has taken a long time and as you've noticed, I've only got this one effect on the staircase, it's very basic, but I will come back with a part two where I add all kinds of wacky stuff. But for now, like I said, I need to sleep, so I'm just going to give you this video as is and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider liking and subscribing so that you can see part two and whatever other, uh, whatever other wacky ideas I come up with in the future. Uh, thank you and see you next time.